Monitoring the vernal pool can be a rewarding experience and fun to boot, but over time it can tell us the health of the pool as well as the watershed. This is what you'll need for an extensive data gathering at a vernal pool. We'll be going over some of these. Before going to the pool, check with the landowner to gain permission. To find the landowner, you can visit the county auditor's website. If the owner does not know about vernal pools, it will be an excellent opportunity to educate them on vernal pools. Once you have permission, scope out the vernal pool during the day to plot which path you will take. There can be submerged logs that can be a hazard at night and other things that may make it difficult if you don't know where they are. Also, if it is a wooded area, mark your route with reflective tape. Try to be there about an hour after sunset. When you go at night, bring a friend or two and let them carry the gear. While traveling to the pool, pop in the Frog and Toad Call CD. This will get you used to hearing the different types of calls here in Ohio. Once you arrive at the pool, put on the waders, grab your gear, and head out. It's time to get your pool on. At the pool, stand still and cut the flashlights. Listen for a few minutes to the Frog and Toads. Turn your head and you may hear different calls. How many and what kind do you hear? One to ten? Or is it dozens or maybe even hundreds? Make a mental note or write down what you have heard. Okay, let's turn on those flashlights and let's see if we can spot one of those noisemakers. To determine the depth of the vernal pool, you can use a measuring stick or estimate about how deep the pool is. Also, how wide and how long is the pool? Again, you can take measurements or just estimate. While out in the vernal pool, try to minimize your impact by following the same path you came in on. Also, you don't need to investigate every little area of the pool. One or two can yield good data. While out in the pool, what types of critters do you see? Are there any egg masses? If so, what do they look like? Take a picture if you're not sure. If you are out at the beginning of the season, you may be lucky enough to see a salamander. If so, what does it look like? Maybe you see the spermatophores. A spermatophore is a capsule or mass created by the male that contains sperm. The male deposits these in the vernal pool shortly after the female arrives. If you see spermatophores, you know salamanders have been there. If you see a salamander, try and take their picture or at least determine how many of what species are present. So now you've documented the frogs and toads and salamanders that may be in the pool. Are there any reptiles such as turtles or maybe even snakes? If so, make a note of them. Regardless of what you find, never take anything from a vernal pool. These animals serve an ecological function and are critical to the pool's well-being. Okay, so now let's take a look at the macroinvertebrates. They're named that because you can see them without magnification. To start, squat down in the pool at night with your flashlight turned on. And wait a minute. Fairy shrimp, whirligig beetles, water mites, back swimmers, and other small creatures will be attracted to your light. Take note of what you see. If you wish, you can t take the observation tray or a small container and dip it in the pool. This way you can see what is in the water without having to be crouched over. Once you are done looking at the creatures, put them back in the water slowly. You can also use a dip net to find the critters at the, on the bottom of the vernal pool. Simply slowly work the dip net across a small section and hold it over the observation tray, which should have some water in it. When you're leaving the pool, pick up any trash you may see. Trash is a hazard to wildlife and an eyesore. Once you get back in the car, make a note if it is raining or, or if it has rained in the past 24 hours. Also, is there a strong wind? Make note of the water temperature and the air temperature. Also, look at the surrounding land use around the pool. Is it wooded? Is there a field or a housing development? Or is there something else? Finally, either while you are out in the pool or shortly when you leave, fill out the monitoring forms. 
These forms can help document what you find and look for trends from year to year. It has been developed by vernal pool enthusiasts and scientists. Once you have completed a season of monitoring, enter in your data on the Ohio Environmental Council's website, www.theoec.org. Click on Water, then the Vernal Pool link. You can find the forms on the OEC website, and you can also find them on the Ohio Vernal Pool Partnership website. That website is www.ovpp.org. So for now, be safe, keep good records, and have fun in the pool.